I'm gonna be creating a sticker design featuring a lettering. Mill Creek Canyon is a popular hiking spot in Utah. And uh, I just wanna show like some of my iterations of my sketches. So now I'm gonna be vectoring my sketch. When we're designing for print, you wanna make sure your file is set to CMYK color mode and um, 300 PPI. Um, so yeah, I have my artboard here set to three inches by three inches. To create really beautiful, sharp, crisp lettering, you need to place your anchor points on the extrema and you need to use mostly horizontal or vertical bezier handles to create really smooth curves that are easy to modify. With a circle, you can see that there are anchor points here, here, and then the bezier handles, they control the curves. So how I like to vector is placing anchor points on the extrema. You can kind of imagine it as a clock. So I have an anchor point at 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Um, you can see that this curve right here, if I imagine that it's part of a circle, I would place an anchor point at six o'clock. And if you're imagining this giant curve right here as part of a bigger circle, you're placing an anchor point at 12 o'clock. And you have to use horizontal or vertical as your handles. So I have the pen tool selected over here. So I'm just gonna draw a quick circle while holding shift. And I'm gonna place a bunch of anchor points to draw a circle, just excessive amount of anchor points. And you can see that this is really hard to manipulate. Whereas over here, I only have four anchor points. It's looking much better. It's not a perfect circle, but it's mm -hmm. looking more smooth and round. And so we're gonna carry that concept into the lettering down here. So I'm in the layer underneath my sketch. So I'm gonna hold on my touchpad and drag while holding shift to lock um, the horizontal beziers. Imagining this giant curve as a circle, I would put my anchor point at nine o'clock. When you click the option key and drag the handle, you're only manipulating one part of the handle. So I'm just modifying my handles a bit. So like for the letter N, um, I like to use the rectangle tool to just quickly draw out that part draw these little serif pieces out. The lettering anatomy, it like repeats. Um, I can just use that for my letter I. I could bring this up here. These were a group, so I'm double clicking to, you know, get into the uh, inner layer and I'm isolate. isolating yeah. and dragging this down. Click on the anchor points of this rectangle and using my arrow key to move it up. This is basically the gist of vectoring your lettering. I'm gonna drag everything and um, I'm gonna combine them together using the Unite tool. Over here, I already have my leaves drawn out. Um, so like over here, I'm using the eyedropper tool. I'm just picking out some of the colors from the reference photos here. To create this border thing, uh, first, we'll need to like turn our gradients into solids. So I'm just gonna quickly do that here. Keep a copy <laughs> of your color version. This will be like a duplicate piece to help you create the contour. So now I'm just going to do expand appearance, change everything to a single color. And now with all this selected, I'm just going to go back to the Pathfinder, click Unite, go into Object, Path, Offset, Path, you can change it to round so it looks a lot nicer. You can change the measurements. I'm gonna select all this, merge it. I'm just going to draw a big rectangle over it. Select both and merge. Change that to the color. I'm gonna create a new file. Print, CMYK, this is three. I'm creating my final file as if it, I were to send this to a, the sticker manufacturer. Just copy and bring it over here. Let's create a separate layer called Cut. I'm gonna select this thing right here. I'm gonna copy, paste in place, changing it to a red stroke. Let's bring back that background color again. Send it oh, back. okay. So yeah, so now you have like your art layer and then this is like the cut path. And I would just save this out as a Adobe Illustrator vector file and upload it to whatever sticker vendor you use.